Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the save file and today's episode I do want to try something that someone suggested um, I've been obviously loving Tainted Mammon recently but someone said I wonder how he works in greedier mode if he's been balanced around that mode at all and I'd like to see for myself because it's one of those things where it's like I'm guessing there's at least somewhat a little bit of balance around this but not a ton because obviously it's kind of a double-edged sword really because on the one half not that many people are playing greedier mode uh, once they've like completed their save file, but also I'm pretty sure Tainted Mammon does have unlocks, and therefore one of those would clearly have to be greedier mode. Uh, so therefore he'd have to be at least somewhat balanced around that to make it so that you can play this mode and still do okay in it. So, I mean, we're going to get more money out of just doing this. So that's <laughs> unfortunately the obvious choice rather than taking a curse there. But like if we come up here... How exactly does this work? We still have our curse buddy here. Blank card. Blank card's potentially pretty fun to get early. I'll also do... That was a very bad uh, little walk there by me. Whoopsie. Um, blank card's really good. Obviously, the coupon is also really, really good. Um, I think we probably want to take coupon, to be honest. But yeah, it's like, I don't think the curses are going to be that influential here. But they're going to be interesting, because obviously you get them throughout the wave and you kind of take them all at the end and sell them, so... Like, this one we'll just take now. Definitely, I think I'm going to take Coupon here, um, and then see what we get. We get extra luck. Decent. Um, okay. We, don't, we haven't got uh, enough for a key yet, but that's fine. So basically, we're going to fight through this, as is. And as we kill stuff, we're going to potentially get more and more curses. And one thing I'm curious about, and this is what I'm going to have to test, is basically, will the game force you to take the curse before the wave is over, and then after the wave is over, the curse will disappear? Or will it let you save all of them until the very end? Because if it lets you save all of them until the very end, then it's not super interesting, because you could basically just never actually deal with the curses. But if it makes you take them each wave, and if you don't get it before the time, they disappear... It's a lot more interesting because it means that you have to take the curses and you've you've got to kind of make the decisions on the fly and you've got to make them pretty darn quickly. You're not going to have much time. So, for example, this one, this is Daw's Lie. Will this disappear at the end of this wave? If it doesn't, then this is overpowered. Okay, it doesn't. This is overpowered because <laughs> basically now we're able to just generate. Also, by the way, can I just express how much Burning Basement absolutely sucks? absolutely so this is just ridiculous there's too much fire there's too much fire game like this is crazy like there's too much fire come on now there's too much fire what the hell was that let's not do burning basement again because that is horrendous but yeah so doesn't really work the way i thought it would and i'd i'd suggest the developers that you make it so that the curses disappear at the end of every wave. Because that would really, um... Fate and has a not grant, chance to not grant you item charge, that's fine by me. Um... Yeah, I think that's gonna lead to a lot more- ooh, what does this do? A special item pedestal appears in the shops, um... In the shops selling items from unique pool. Um, gain spiffy time piece. Okay, so we'll definitely go for that. I think it'd add a lot more urgency and decision making for this character. Oh, such a bad way to lose my black heart. It is what it is. Ooh, hello. So we can get our birthright already, which is nice. Um, we get the spiffy time piece and we get the special item for sale. What does the spiffy time piece do? Um, tells you how long the current run has been going for. Okay. That is intriguing. Uh, what does this do? Why can't I see what this does? Okay, guess not then. Anyways, let's keep this going. Um, and hope we, hopefully we can keep this together. Kind of an underwhelming, um, underwhelming birthright for this guy. Just special shot. Uh, but I suppose it's probably more interesting on regular runs than it is on greed mode runs. I think it's really that that's making it. But also, if you saw there, we got coupon back again. So we'll definitely be taking coupon once again here. Hopefully we can live to tell the tale and live to actually grab that. Because uh, 
Cellar is not as bad as Burning Basement, but it ain't no walk in the park either. Oh, come on now. I didn't see that guy fire because of the text. We might just die again, to be honest. Um, seems pretty, pretty common for me to just do that. Right. But yeah, the fact that they stick around like that just means you can kind of leave them all to the end of the wave. Although, one obviously caveat to that is they're going to stack up and be slightly hard to avoid. It's not going to be as simple as just, like, leaving them on the ground. Because you do actually have to somewhat avoid them. And make sure that you don't pick them up by accident. Because some of them are not going to be that big of a problem. But others are going to be really problematic if you, um, if you don't play your cards right. Also, this does mean that the item room, buying a key relatively worthless in this mode, I'd say. I, I don't think there's much point in spending five coins when there's a likelihood that you'll just get a curse that is only going to give you five coins for, for cleansing it. Like, oh my god, this guy's got so much health. Good. Hopefully we can kill a few enemies with the bombs there. You are bleeding up a storm, my good lad. Unfortunately, curse-wise, we've not done really that good in terms of how many we've gained from the, the enemies that we've killed here. We've only got one. Or at least I've only see, I can only see one so far. There might, might be a few more about, but I don't think there is. I only see the one. Still don't really get the idea of the uh, the spiffing time piece. I guess it's just a bit of fun. But uh, <laughs> the fact that it doesn't do anything is kind of silly. Good old Beth, right? Good. Really got to be careful with this guy, because if he hits me, puts us at a really bad spot. So I think we just take this. I think we uh, come in here and we cleanse it straight away. And then we buy this. We use it, and you had to give me the red heart, didn't you? There's so many items in here, come on now. So many items in here. Um, and then the electric dice would be fantastic to get next. So let's... I th oh, yeah. We, I was going to say, let's see if we can get that. We can definitely get it. It's just all about making sure we live. This guy can be tricky, though. This this boss. So uh, mainly that attack there catches me out sometimes because it accelerates. And I always forget it accelerates. Also, this guy plus another boss. Oh, god damn. That time was quick. Holy hell. You spawn spiders as well, don't you? Oh, this is going to be tough. This is going to be a really rough fight, I think. I think there's actually a genuinely decent chance we die here. Because that guy moves at the speed of sound. This guy has quite a lot of HP. And there's going to be spiders and flies and all sorts of things that are on the board. Sketching us out. It's going to be a little rough. I still think it's better to take care of this guy first. Just because he's going to be easier. Didn't realize there was one of you down here. I don't like that. Oh my god. Too slow. Too slow. Okay, he is dead. Good. I didn't realize the beat is just like came in off the, off the side of the screen there. Very on. How did I not take damage there? Beaters, you need to go. Oh, dude. How did I not get hit there? And now it's just down to killing this guy, which is reasonably okay. But goddamn, every time he does that, I shit myself just a little bit more. But he's not too hard of a, of a boss. Just got to be wary of the spiders he spawns. Especially when he spawns multiple at once. And we've got to be on it with whenever he moves, because it's lightning speed. Damage-wise, we're doing good damage to him. Get away from me, spider. He doesn't spawn spiders that often. He doesn't always spawn more than one either, so that's good. But electric dice is going to be absolutely fantastic with this as an active. I don't think it charges that active on pickup, though, so we're not going to be able to use it this floor. But in general, it's going to be really good. Definitely want to get some more HP. So, uh, we're going to get more items by stopping the clock, stopping the waves, ticking over and using our charges. Good. Dice here. I don't think this is... Yeah, this doesn't charge our active. Ooh. Nuns have it be great as well here. 
Fortunately not though. We'll take the uh, heart here just to make sure that we're okay for this next wave. We'll try and take these guys out. Oh, dude. That is not what I thought you did. I thought you loved explosives, but you're uh, a champion version of yourself, so you don't love explosives anymore. I dodged thinking I was dodging an explosive. Turns out I was not. Dude. Dude, this guy is hitting me way more than he should be. I don't even remember what, what you do. You normally do triple shot, but you don't seem to be that enthused in doing that right now. I don't really know. Okay, you do monstrous long, okay. Should be fine. Can be a little tricky, but should be fine. Good, good. We got it. Devil deal, I don't think we're going to take here. I might have to buy a heart on the next floor, depending. Go down. God damn it, don't have any bombs. Are we going to get any curses from these guys? You don't get a curse from beating the boss waves either. That's another thing that's a bit weird. Get down we go. A little bit strange, I'd say. A little bit strange. This guy works. Yeah. In an odd way. Take that, thank you. This time we get that. View. So... I guess in this circumstance, let's do this. Really not happy about how this has sort of worked out for us here, I'll be honest. Now we need to pause this. Hasn't really worked in our favour really at all. I don't like you bumbling about. I honestly don't like the enemies we've got here. I'm kind of glad I paused it just for our own safety because this guy here, plus the invisible dude, plus this little guy. I need to take you out first because you're really pissing me off covering the room in crap. This little invisible dude here almost got me then. Gone. This guy's gotta go. Trying my best, but honestly it's taking quite a lot of effort to take out these enemies for some reason. Even just this little guy. Good, good. Right, then we go in here, and we use this, which gave us just the key. Fucking really. There's items galore, and you give me just the key. Oh. I think we're better off rolling for battery charges, you know? What's this? Firing a tear will fire two um, perpendicular half damage lasers where the tear would land. Ooh, I really like the idea behind that. I think I'll try and buy that. In fact, I think if I do this, go grab that, and then I go in here and grab that. I could just sell both of those to maybe buy that now. I don't know if I have enough money, actually. I might not. Ah, one coin off. I mean, I could risk it and try and get this one coin here. <gasps> Bollocks, my bad. Okay, could be could be uh, death time here. Could be death time. I really hope I don't die, but very much could be. Well, this is a very interesting item. I like it a lot. Very intrigued by this. Not how I thought it would work, honestly. Not how I thought it would work. God, I'm so fucking dead. There's a champion. It's got all the crap going on as well. I really can't be dealing with you right now. Okay, we got a half soul high here. This is a lot of curse stuff going on. It seems as well that, like, if we're not hitting, it just hits the enemies anyways. How are you still alive, Big Earth? 
been shooting at you forever. This is really damn cool. Items go. I think this thing could synergize really well with some other stuff as well. Would be a lot of fun. Big man, you gotta go. And it just means as well that even when we're missing, we're still hitting a lot of the time. Oh god, this is awful. Good, right. Let's grab this. Um, I think we're going to leave all these on the floor for now. Yeah, well, let's leave all these on the floor for now. What does this do? Okay, yeah. Let's leave all these on the floor for now. Do our bosses. That hit me. What the fuck? Okay. I made a mistake. Thought I could do it. Dude, I'm so upset that I just lost this run. Oh, my goodness. That's so fucking frustrating. Oh, just get the fucking text off my shitting screen while I'm in combat, please. Fuck off, external item descriptions. While I'm in combat, I don't fucking care. Oh, my God. That's so frustrating. So frustrating. Like, I, I got hit on my calf soul heart because I just couldn't bloody see what the hell was going on. Right. Grab all of those. Let's just go off the bat and grab that, which is only five. That, which is ten. Okay, that's good. Grab these two off the bat so we can get some good stuff early on. And, yeah, just grab, just grab that for now. Cyst, I don't even know how that would work. Um, regain to the next room. Do, would we get that once per wave? Probably not, right? Probably not. And honestly, I'm pretty happy to have these Rotten Hearts. We get the Rotten Hearts triggered per wave. Yeah, that unfortunately just didn't work out. I should have bought more health or Soul Hearts if I was able to or whatever. Should have just been a bit more attentive, but it is what it is. It's frustrating, but it is what it is. Yeah, Rotten Hearts on Greed Mode, kind of slack. So yeah, don't take anything on the ground yet, but you can make that work. You gotta take everything for the next floor and trade it on the next floor. Do our boss. Ah, oh, bloody hell. I should poison him. Oh, bugger. Always forget about that attack. What are you doing now? Launching a bomb at me? Okay. We're entering second phase. Second phase isn't as hard, although second phase with this guy mixed with another boss. Don't really like the sound of that. This guy launching fires everywhere we have to deal with another boss. Really no thank you. I mean, the fires are doing damage to the other boss, which is kind of nice. But this guy's summoning all sorts of minions and stuff. This is just a pain in the ass, this. Die! I can't even hit him. I'm too, I'm too slow to chase him. Fuck you. Stand still for a goddamn bit, please. An easy focus as well. This is a really rough combination of bosses. Gotta say. Please say he's dead. He is, thank goodness. Only you to deal with now, but you're still no run, running the path. Goddamn, stop paying the ass. 
Don't accidentally pick up the enemies getting her, I mean, that would be devastating. Okay. Just double pin, this is it. It is just double pin, okay. Don't get hit because we've only got rotten hearts, but this shouldn't be so bad. Especially grey pin as well that doesn't do the explosives. He fills the screen a with a little more shots than your average pin, but he's a little more easy to deal with just because you don't have to deal with the explosives. One dead. I want to say I'm tempted by just going straight in the devil deal, to be honest. Good. Right, now we take this. We take this. We take this. We come in here and we buy... Probably want to buy this. Toxic Shock doesn't do much for us, I don't think, but bombing this guy's a good idea regardless. There's a HP up. I like that. I like a HP up. Uh, there's that one coin. Toxic Shock. Um, enemies killed leave a puddle of creep is good enough to take, I think, even though the active effect won't be that good. And then I think we just go to the next floor. Okay. It's been a bit of a weird one. But I'm kind, of, I'm kind of enjoying this guy in greed mode. And then we come in here. Grab whatever this ends up being. And we sell, 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 sell. And do I take marked? Yeah, why not take marked? I would like to take bird's eye as well. I like marked. So again, we try and leave as many of these on the floor as we can. But yeah, Toxic Shock's not that good for us, but leaving the uh, to the, the creep on the floor when you kill an enemy, it means enemies that leave more enemies, it, it kills them pretty quick. And I, I really like that. One second. Got an unbelievably itchy ear for some reason. We're all good. There are you. But yeah, also, obviously the fire rate boost that we just got here is really nice. Yeah, it doesn't mean we can't really leave between the bosses. We've got to do everything in all in one go. But now I don't have the coupon. I'm less pressured. And the coupon was applying some extra pressure I didn't really need. Dude, come on. I didn't realize you slid around like that. Enemy, I do not understand. So we've lost one of our rotten hearts. Dude, we need to go before you start sliding towards me. Thank you. Oh, Bollocks, am I going to die again? Please don't say I die again. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to die. Yep. Oh my god. Oh, this is painful. This is painful. Okay, this guy is good, I promise, but I, I just don't know how to play him. I just... Oh, it really, really gets to me when I play bad at this game, because it's like... When I play bad at other games... Why have I gone straight in here? Why have I gone straight in here? Do you know what? I think I'm going to end the episode here. I'm I, I'm not playing well enough. I'm not playing well enough. I can't. Um... We, we figured out how this guy works, though. But yeah, like, it really irks me because, like, other games when I play bad, it just is what it is. But this game when I play bad, I know that I'm good at this game. And I know that I can be good at this game. So when I do really terribly, it just oh, it annoys the hell out of me. Because it's just like, what are you doing? Why? Why can't you just play the way that you play when you're good at the game? And I'm like, just two pretty good runs kind of thrown away there. But had fun nonetheless. I, I know it's a bit of a weird place to leave off the episode. Uh, but... I think I'm not going to be getting any better and I'm probably going to have another failed run so I need to take a break for today. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.